welcome back. Today we are going to do something for everybody. In fact, it's called the Everybody Cheese Ball. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with 8 ounces of cream cheese, which is softened, and you need that in your little handy dandy mixer bowl. Now, into that is going to go some chopped onion. And this, guys, actually just uses a standard yellow onion. You want this chopped fairly small because you don't want big bites of onion in each bite. Into our cream cheese goes our onion. We're going to have about a third of one large bell pepper. Take out the little membrane and the seeds. All right, here's one of my favorite parts. We're gonna use a little bit of a jalapeno here. Now, here's another thing. If you know that the people you are making this for absolutely cannot tolerate pepper, that's fine. Just use all bell pepper instead of the jalapeno. And of course, you want to take the membrane and the seeds out of your bell pepper. All right. All right, then let's get rid of that. Woo. All right, now we're going to take our bell pep, I mean our jalapeno, and we want this to be a very, very small chop, almost a mince on this, not quite a mince. Somewhere between a small chop and a mince, okay? So we're going to come in and make almost a julienne size of a little strip. See that? Nice little thin strips. Then we're going to turn them the other way and come in at very narrow cuts. And there we go. All right, so we've got our bell pepper and our onion in there that are pretty nice on the, once I finally got the knife cuts down there. All right, and then we've got our jalapeno on a very small chop. All right, and that into the bowl. Then here is our pineapple that has been, well, I thought it was good and drained. It's wanting to hold a little teeny bit of that water. If it does that, guys, no worries. Let me show you what I'm doing. No worries. Just put it over a sieve. I'm using my little strainer here and just press that excess juice out of it just like that. See that? With the back of a spoon or a spatula. And once you've got that excess juice out of there, which you can save for a lovely cocktail, that pineapple goes into your bowl with everything else. All right. Now, the only thing we're lacking is a pinch of salt and we're going to give that a stir around the bowl all right the last thing to go in is our pecans we didn't want to beat those to death so that's why they go in after we've stirred everything else in pretty good and by the way my friend jess brought this to work one time for a party that we were having and it was so good. I begged her for the recipe and she kindly gave it to me. I've tweaked it just the tiniest bit, but going mostly on her recipe. Okay, now we'll get out our wax paper and get this rolled up. All right. I'm not gonna do it. All right, we're just gonna kind of pull this into a ball shape a little bit with a spatula. And then, 
roll it up like this. And then this is going to go into the refrigerator for at least two hours or till firm. Since we started with softened cream cheese, we need to really give this time to firm up nice and tight. So in it goes. Okay, guys, our cheese ball has been in the fridge for a couple of hours. And it's gotten nice and firmed up. And you, you know what? Just in case you're wondering, you probably, I know we always used to, I always used to wrap my cheese balls in saran wrap, and you can do that. And the reason why I have been wrapping them recently in wax paper is because it helps wick away some of that extra moisture, which is usually something that I want in a cheese ball, is I want less moisture in it. All right, another little trick here. If it works. Mostly worked. All right. Now, we take our edges of our wax paper here, and we're just going to kind of scooch this into a little bit tighter of a ball. There we go. Oh, it's still wonky. Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious. All right. Going to get a little firmer hand on it here. Sometimes. You just gotta make it work, right Lance? Right. We are going to coat our cheese ball, our everybody cheese ball. It's got stuff that everybody likes, yes. Okay, so we are gonna coat this with pecans, but the reason, again, why I did not put pecans on the bottom is because remember, when you go in with your little spreader or your little dipper, right, you don't want that thing scooching all over your platter or your plate. So. I did not put pecans on the very bottom. And you can always do the method too, guys, of putting up, putting the pecans on it already in the wax paper before you put it in the refrigerator. You can do that, that, do that method too. So you take your remaining one cup of pecans. And if you've ever done like a crumb exterior, on a cake, it's the same method. You're just gonna put a few in your hand at a time and pull them up against the side of your cheese ball. Of course, use whatever kind of cracker or whatever. By the way, this cheese ball, this is a wonderful cheese ball to um, serve with like a veggie tray. Oh, it's so good with those little sweet peppers. You know, those little red and yellow and orange little sweet peppers. You get them in a bag. Oh, my word, I love those things. The little taste test. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. Look at that, you guys. Yum, yum, yum. It's so good. Mmm. Wow. That bell pepper and the pineapple and that teensy bit of jalapeno in there. I'm telling you, that's a, one, a winner combo right there. And then the pecan with that nuttiness and that little bit of richness with the pecan. Wow, that is the finishing touch on this one. Well, you guys got to give this a try. And make sure you take this to your next game day or holiday get together because, oh my word. Everybody is going to love it, and they're going to love you for bringing it. <laughs> so let me know how it works out for you. And you know what I'm going to say. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do that. Give us a like and send us a comment, will you? And we'll see you next time on Things Tina Does.